What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth, it is Ananka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have an Alpha PHIP slash Etazolam slash Esitalopram trip report for you. The title of this trip report is Awakens the Crackhead Inside and was submitted to Eroid in 2021 by the user Kiko Miko. With all that being said, let our story begin. Not long ago, my boyfriend and I ordered some Alpha PHIP from a legal research chemicals market. He had done some research on it and passed the information on to me. I found it intriguing, mostly because of its associations with Flocka, also known as Alpha PVP. Having heard the horrible stories about the zombie drug made me reluctant to try PHIP, but I was informed that Flocka was publicly made to look worse than it actually is, so I thought, why the hell not? The drug was surprisingly cheap. We ordered five grams and tried it out the day we got it. It was our first time vaporizing and smoking crystals off of a tinfoil felt like a very crackhead move in itself, especially considering the fact we were doing this hidden behind a car on top of a hill above this little village. But the feeling was unique. A stimulative head rush, slight euphoria, Increased talkativeness, not giving a shit about nothing, and the need to do something, anything. Didn't last long, though. We decided to save it up for some other day. That day came next week, on a Tuesday. I had just finished an online exam, COVID and shit, and I felt I needed a well-deserved chill-out, <laughs> with stimulants. So, joining forces with my boyfriend, we drove to a picnic kind of place in the middle of a forest and combined snorting and smoking. I preferred snorting it as it lasts longer, albeit less intense. It got dark. We needed to get home, and the only option was driving. So I drove. Idiot. Due to the increased awareness, it went pretty well, got back safe. Socializing with mother was avoided, since we were feeling paranoid. Our intent was to go to bed with the help of Edizolam, but it was rather a puny helper. After a sleepless night came a sleepless but tweaky day and dumbass decisions. It started going out of control. Boyfriend told me we might be infected with COVID since a friend he was recently out with had it. We were, at first, worried. He called up his mom, so she told him we can crash in their empty apartment till we ain't sick no more. Our crackhead hearts lighted up at the news. An empty apartment all to ourselves for an indefinite amount of time. We just couldn't say no. Since the comedowns were hitting us pretty hard, we at some point decided to show them the finger by downing more at Azolam to keep the anxiety slash paranoia away. So, beyond this point, the benzo is what I ascribe my vague recollections to. The parts I do remember include lying to my parents about being positively COVID tested so we could keep the sesh going at the apartment, driving to my house to pick up clothes, a gangsta puff of synthetic weed. Mind you, I don't even smoke weed, and it had me fooled I was dying for 15 minutes, ditching all of my online and live classes, and not eating much since appetite suppression. It's hard to say whether I slept till Friday at all. I believe we kept the Edazolam at two milligrams, twice to three times a day. But on Thursday, my boyfriend broke down in tears, 
and on Friday I did. I guess the guilt, shame, and paranoia got the better of the both of us. On Friday, he made the brave decision to trip on 25 NBOME, but kept away from the PHIP. So I had it for myself. Yay. I can clearly remember the last three lines I did. Drew them up, put one in tinfoil, and attempted to smoke but failed. Point is, the night ended up with me begging my boyfriend to allow me to have another line. Another side of me, however, noticed the addictive downward spiral and encouraged him to flush it down the toilet before the full-on come down. I was going crazy after it was all too late, searching for it despite knowing it went down the drain. I was delusional, non-cooperative, and then I saw them. The infamous shadow people were forming in the living room. I was even hearing voices, and no shit was scared shitless. So boyfriend had to put me down for the night with five milligrams of etazolam. Slept like a baby for 12 hours. Until I woke up and found myself wanting to end it all. So I drank some liquor and mixed it with etazolam. Apparently, that did not work. I must mention that I am also currently going through a rough phase in my life and am on 20 milligrams of escitalopram a day. My struggles with depression slash anxiety probably contributed to the fact I found alpha-PHIP so addictive. I was unfazed by schoolwork, my appearance, family drama for those couple of days being cracked up. It created temporary relief whilst becoming more of a problem than solution at the same time. Had I not had my boyfriend by my side, who knows where I would be right now. I've tried many different substances, but the experience I've had with this one has made me not want to take any for a long, long time. It showed me how dark things can truly get with drugs. Sure, it has its highlights, but the tables start turning very quickly.